Dr. Keisha Hayward from the Falls Road Animal Hospital is here to answer your pet questions. And look who she brought with her. This is Coco. That is Coco. And Shorky? She is a Shorky, she's so a she's shorky. a Shih Tzu Yorkie mix. Oh, and she's so cute. Look at the outfit. Like, she's all done up for her <laughs> TV debut. I was looking to see if her nails were done, but no. <laughs> That's for next time. <laughs> exactly. How have you been? I've been great. Good. All right. We've got several questions for you. This one's from Courtney. What's the best way to try and train a four-month-old German Shepherd that acts like it's the boss? Yeah, and that's a rough age because they're just getting past puppyhood into teenagerhood, which is a rough age for everybody. So right. the most important thing is to do puppy classes, work with trainers, make sure they're socialized. Because you really, a lot of times people come in and they say, I, they know how to sit, but they won't do it when other people are around or there's something exciting going on. Right. That's where the trainer comes in because they look at what you're doing and they say, you know what, when you're telling them to do that, you're doing this. And it mm -hmm. really helps you like focus so that right. you can get them to do what you want them to do. To train the owner just as much. Uh, oh, so as much. The yeah. dog. Okay. This question is from Tamara. I work a lot, and when I'm gone, it seems like my cat is on everything. How do I keep my cat off of my stove, counter, or out of sink, the sink and the tub? You want to make the areas that you don't want them to be less pleasant than the areas you do want them to okay. be. Okay. So they have special things you can buy that are like little mats with little nubs on them and that kind of thing that you can lay on those most important areas. Okay. And then make sure they have great areas like climbing trees and that kind of thing that's really fun to hang out in. Okay. So they're going to want to be there. Is it true that they don't like to walk on tinfoil? That's true for a lot of cats, not for everybody, okay. unfortunately. Okay. Uh, my three-year-old terrier just uh, ingested a small amount of quick dry nail polish, but he seems okay. Should I take him to the vet as a precaution? Always, 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 even if it's something you think would be okay, call your vet and ask. You don't okay. necessarily have to rush in for every little thing, but there are some things like grapes and raisins that, like, you'd feed your toddlers, but, right. like, if dogs eat them, that can be a big deal. So call okay. your vet, say, hey, we ate this, we weigh this much, and that way they can say it's a problem, bring them on in, or don't worry about it. Okay, or don't necessarily wait for the symptoms <laughs> yeah, to appear. Don't, don't wait till the TV segment. Call right. your vet and, and make sure okay. that there's a, okay. there's a solution you, there. Hayward, nice to see you and thanks, Coco.